Timmy didn't say a word about it, but when he was outside, he scratched his hand in a wire or some other rusty piece of metal. His wound is not looking pretty, and we need to do something about it. No! What? We have to cut his f***ing arm off? How's it going, everybody? I'm IGP, the EDG Promoter, and welcome back to Let's Play 60 Seconds. In the last episode, I just kind of showed off the game and what it had to offer, but you guys said you wanted to see some more. Actually, a lot of you guys said you wanted to see some more. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. Hopefully you guys enjoy this series. Was that a motherfucking UFO? But anyway, I was given a tip not to ration out food as much as I've been doing. I felt like I didn't ration out that often because I felt like I needed to be conservative with it, but hey, I guess I can last a little bit longer between rations, so... There we go, let's start up another adventure. Hopefully we can make it past day 12. I think it was as long- I think it's how I died. It was day 12. I don't know. But anyway. Uh, so I guess this is gonna be the part where I need to be a little bit more strategic. Um, I think I can grab these- the kid and the axe at the same time. We definitely need a weapon. Shut up! I don't want to get whatever you're telling me to get. Alright, so let me grab this, this, throw you guys in. Alright. Let me grab the water can of soup and my wife toss you down there like you ain't nothing get my a soup and my fat daughter and I'm gonna throw you down there too all right so I need the radio <clears throat> uh, water I don't know how long we can survive without food you know but that that I guess another water okay so there's a gun in there I'm gonna grab Oh, I need to hurry up. I got like 15 seconds. <laughs> the gun. Uh, the gun. Checkerboard. Uh, uh, what else? Med kit. Med kit. Med kit. Gas mask. No, 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 no. Oh, god damn it. I can't get the gas mask. Oh, how fucking dumb is that? It only takes one slot. Well, shit. I guess I'm not going up for an expedition. Should I just restart that and try again? Nah, fuck it. We play the hand we're dealt, right? All the way, balls to the wall. Let's do this. So I got a gun and an axe, though, and not much water. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die quick. All of us made to the shelter just before. Okay, this pretty much says the same thing. It's another one. Sure, it's a good amount of supplies. Okay, not gonna ration shit. It's difficult to get spirits up with the situation. We do hope this whole mess will be over soon, or else, yeah. I'm gonna go insane. Alright, day one was easy. I think we could do this, guys. Day two, I have scrub. Facial scrubs. Easy to feel a bit down when living underground like that. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get rid of the pessimism and try to bring some cheerfulness into our lives. It's always better when they are calm. Okay, when things are calm. Lois is quite calm given the situation. She always is. She's just pissed at me. She's looking at me like it's my fault they dropped the bomb. Actually, I probably should have. Let's send someone out because we're stupid. Woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like like someone or something was watching us. Could have sworn we noticed movement and the shadows of what? Did you open the door like idiots and let radiate? All right. If anything else, if anything besides this is left in the bunker, it's time to teach it who's run. Be here. Axe. Is there something else in the bunker? <clears throat> We're about to find out. Okay. I guess there was nothing. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty little holes. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Okay, you guys will be fine, trust me. Enough sitting around, it's time to visit the surface and look for additional supplies. Okay, who am I gonna send up? Uh, this bitch. God, her stern... Or her, uh, scowl on her face is just fucking annoying. Go away, thank you. Go find some stuff, bring it back. Day four, can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking about it all day. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Okay, so we'll portion out. Since she's gone, we'll portion out. We'll go ahead and give you guys stuff. What was that, a rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. What's with this double tail? <laughs> Guess the radiation's making all these animals mutated, but how are they getting in here? I feel like if they were getting in here, or if they were being affected by stuff, then we would be, uh, you know, dying too, but I guess not. Okay. Uh, our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still on top of food. Uh, my is fine. Alright, you guys are fine. The trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is, we don't have much of an app. Oh, we can use the bug spray. Cool. Hopefully it doesn't get rid of it. I'm pretty sure we can get multiple uses out of that. Nope, uh, never mind. It's gone. Great, I hope I don't need that later. 
Day six, that was close. The nest of those glowing bugs might have been more enough to drive us into the wastelands. Roaches are the worst, but radioactive roaches, yikes. Okay. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't? Okay. No trouble, nothing new. Cool. Everybody can just wait. There are only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker. So we thought, hey, why not play some games? Yeah, I bought the checkerboard. Hopefully you guys can enjoy that. So I don't know if there's much of strategy. Oh, is she back? Oh, damn, she's sick as fuck. Damn, dude. That's why I need a gas mask. I'm gonna have to do that next run. God. I need to, like, prioritize the gas masks. We played Ice Spy. It's pretty fun. Back, safe from the wasteland. Government is dropping supplies for survivors in the area. They are marked by smoke flares and can be easily seen. Most of them are barely reachable. Despite that, a lot of them are already... Well... Okay, crates are filled with very weird stuff. Crayon... I don't want to drink that water. Okay, so let me... Let me make sure... I can't get... I can give her food and water. That's fine. Good job, Dolores. You brought back stuff. We'll just send you out... <laughs> again, because... You know, you're disgusting already. There's no point of keeping you around. Oh, you're feeling better, huh? Fucking still looking at me like I'm sick of you. Actually, it probably is my fault. Oops, sorry about that. I don't know why that keeps popping up. Hey, hey. we can make it work, even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? But back when Mary Jane is very thirsty. Uh, okay, you guys are fine. Okay, so she was just tired. You'll go back out. Actually, that's probably not a good idea. I'll send little Timmy. I'll send, yeah, that's fine. Is that bad parenting? To send my child out like that? Okay. Uh, everyone has to drink sometimes. Okay, we can't sit around. Oh, this is so sick. Well, she's gonna make us die. I will right, ration out some more stuff. We'll do one when he comes back. Last thing we expected to hear was sitting. Wait, the last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet. It was played by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player, and who had probably never heard a trumpet player in his entire life. He came with a friend who knocked on the door and demanded that we let the merry men enter so they could take from the rich and give to the poor. What kind of question is that? Of course not. I'll cut him up with my axe. I hear snoring. Are people snoring? Are they sleeping outside? We didn't answer those particular calls and kept the door locked until the noises outside faded away. We're not exactly sure we want those people to come back. They sound harmless enough, but can harmless people be trusted in these troubled times? It might be worse than those who don't seem harmless at all. Mary Jane goes, okay. Wait, what? If there was anything to report about Dolores, is that this is where it would have been written. Oh, okay. So why do you Teddy's doing well? Okay, good. So Timmy has not returned yet. <clears throat> There's never a good time to go out into the reactive wayland, but it seems like this will become a necessity in the new world of ours. We thought it would be a good idea to make it happen sooner rather than later. A planned and planned a trip outside. Before we could make the third step beyond the sheltered doors, an unknown creature started growling at us in the darkness. We had only moments to decide what to do. Thank God. God, I would have ended up dying. Why did you leave? Why did you leave? My son is dead. I'm pretty sure my son's dead. Okay, quick shot with the rifle was more than enough to scare away or maybe bring down whatever creature stalked us in the darkness. We never saw it again. Mary Jane seemed fine today. Hopefully it will be that way. Okay, Teddy's doing well. Okay, where did that green puddle come from? Oh dear. A pipe is leaking green goo. That's not good. Ah, great. <clears throat> well, fantastic. How am I supposed to gather enough stuff? Oh, is the sun back? Oh, you don't look so well, dude. You do not. He's hungry, sick, and tired. I didn't know I could do that. Oh! Okay. We could figure it out, so just assume that there was a regular pipe would do in the nuclear apocalypse side. No, I'm feeling funny today, though. Probably no connection to the pipe. None whatsoever. Okay. Alright, so he's fine. Let's go to the restaurant chef. It's tomato soup. No wonder they are a five star hotel. Every room was stocked with water bottles for guests. Okay, cool. Filled with a ray. Oh, we got a flashlight! I saw that. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Timmy should eat something. Timmy isn't feeling very well. Timmy's really tired. Alright, so you need to get some rest. I'm gonna go ahead and give you food, and you guys can wait one more day. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna send someone else out. No, we're not gonna send anyone else out. We need everyone here. I wish someone would bring back a fucking med kit. Seems a little bit too much to ask nowadays. Okay. What is that? Empty bottle of water. Okay. 
Still, it's better to be safe down here than dead up there. I'm gonna drink something to drink. Okay. Alright, uh, everybody can go ahead and take some. Okay? And we'll just wait. Nobody's going out. Oh, I totally missed that. What the hell was that? Oh, I need to stop being so impatient. Stop being so impatient, dude. Alright, can we actually turn on the radio? I can't. Okay. Day 40. It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Okay. Okay. Nope. No rationing. Supplies. No expedition. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military. Okay, cool. Now that I have a radio, that's good. I mean, I guess that's what I'm waiting for, pretty much. So nothing yet, I guess. <clears throat> We knew it. The government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. There isn't anything new. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Everybody's fine. Fuck all of you. Okay, I guess we'll, uh, we'll wait. I'm gonna wait, because they're coming. It's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully we'll keep our peace, or else I need to act like wolves. Survival of the fittest and all. Oh, Jesus. Alright guys, come on. Fat daughter, please do not eat your brother. Ooh, I'm growing that beard, look at that. <laughs> okay, day 16. Someone drew an angry mom. It's hard not to worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with this shelter life. Can't lose hope. Give something to drink for Mary Jane. Okay. Uh, is the water? Oh, okay. Alright, I guess we'll ration supplies again. Nope, we're gonna wait for the- okay, you maniacs, you blew it up, ah, damn you, damn you all to hell. Ah, ha, ha, plenty of the apes reference. Uh, that's something we should have told our neighbors when they blew up their barbecue last spring. Those were good times, even if- okay, so everyone's going insane. Seems like it. Who's writing in the diary, everyone? Nothing new going on down here. Okay, so day 17, who knows, maybe the world, the new world will offer new opportunities and it won't be so bad. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble, okay. Nope. Nope. Timmy has been talking about going out to the surface to explore, run, dance, and play with whatever burnt remains can be found. We would gladly jump at the chance to get him some fresh air, though we are worried exposure to reactivity out there will effectively ruin his fun by turning him into a terrifying mutant. Should we let Timmy out? Nope. You gonna stay here, Timmy. You're already sick, dude. Day 18. Man, we're surviving a long time. Yeah, he looks really bored. Sick and tired. Everybody else is fine. He's tired, he needs to get some sleep. We had to say no, what else could we do? It's dangerous and Timmy's sad puppy eyes aren't enough to convince us. And no, chewing our own foot is not a convincing argument either. Mary Jane isn't worried, at least, okay. Nope. Nope. I seriously... It's time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions, or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about turning on the radio station? Okay, yeah, we'll find out. Hope the radio station has something to offer us. Nope. God, nothing is changing. It's very uneventful. Day 19, we were able to get a weak signal and tap at the government's emergency announcement service, and guess what? Great news! The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel the service now. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Oh, okay. Alright, well now we'll send somebody. That's fine. If Ted doesn't drink anything, it won't last long. Okay. Alright, let's just go ahead and... Oh, I didn't know I could partially... That's stupid. That's stupid. I think you guys are fine. Ted is the one I'm worried about. Actually, let me see what everybody else is. Okay, so I guess Ted needs more water than everybody else. So that's fine. Everybody else can just shut up. Okay, so we're gonna send someone out tomorrow. Timmy didn't say a word about it, but when he was outside, he scratched his hand in a wire or some other rusty piece of metal. His wound is not looking pretty, and we need to do something about it. No! What? We have to cut his fucking arm off, dude? What kind of unbelievable decision? I guess we're gonna do it. <laughs> Please don't come back with some nasty, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, wait! Oh, I guess... Okay, so we didn't do anything with the axe. I got an achievement, surviving. 
the axe is gone. Alright, so Timmy was very brave about the idea of cleaning up his wound with a heated axe blade. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna cut it off. You know, stop the infection. It was a bit painful, but as soon as it was over, the axe no shade to be used again. Timmy seemed much better. Let me spare some water. Timmy got hurt. Water, 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 nope, okay. Nah, I don't know if to give water, people. Nope, I'm not giving any water. You guys can survive one more day. We're feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. Actually, I need to give water to someone who's, I'm gonna give water to, or water and food to this dumb bitch and send her outside. Because it's probably safer, but she probably has not eaten anything in a while. So day 21, oh shit, tits, dude. What the hell? <laughs> what is he? He's still sitting there like nothing. <laughs> what the fuck? Let her head fall off. Do I think this progressed quickly? Cough, fever, chest pain. She didn't recover. Mary Jane went outside. Well, great. Well, I guess uh, we just need to split up the food. Today, the music from the radio stopped abruptly, and instead we got to listen to a transmission from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation, but it turns out there is something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that we're alive somewhere in the area. The exact location was given in geographical coordinates. We need a map to establish where that is. Well, I didn't grab it. I didn't fucking grab it. I didn't have to do this that one time. God, I keep doing that. Sorry. Uh, fuck. He is sick, hurt, crazy, and tired. You are just fine. She is dead. Okay. Seems like this whole family is well put together. Alright, so day 22. Ah, oh, we were sure we could find a location without a map. We were wrong. Hopefully we'll get lucky next time. Timmy still hasn't recovered from his full mental competence. We wish we could help him somehow. I could give you food and stuff, dude. I mean, that's all I can pretty much do right now. We were about to go to sleep when we heard someone knock at the door. We'd be, we'd be part of the way saying, how in the hell did they survive the nuke? Should we open it up? You know what? Take a motherfucking chance once in a while. Maybe it's somebody to help me. Maybe it's somebody to help. Uh-oh. Now I'm sick. Okay, let's find out who we let in. A group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying some serious looking equipment gave us purified water. Before we could thank them, they turned away and left. Oh, sweet. See, that's what happens when you take chances. Opening the hatch was a bit risky. It seems to give us some awful sickness. That coughing is driving us crazy. Timmy's looking very pale, not very good. Yeah. He looks like he's about to literally kill over. Uh, okay, so we got some water. Actually, let's do just the water. Might help. Okay, hear that? No, because no one is talking. Not a word in hours, none at all. We can't just stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Okay, let's try. Let's try, huh? Day 24. Oh, she's back and sick. Okay. Hey! <laughs> Welcome back, fat daughter! Your mom is dead as fuck. You see that? That's your mama. She dead. She died a long time ago, apparently, because she's completely decomposed. All right, so day 24. Ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We could probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Nothing made us happy and decided. Radio There was an abandoned truck. In line for the gas pump, we immediately recognize... I feel like that's misspelled. Logo, the company... Okay, soup. We don't need the soup. Okay, water. Okay, what did we just get? One of the cars... Oh, right, hold on. What just happened? What? All right, so... I think the most destructive word... Gasoline reserve... Someone might have thought 60 seconds was enough for the gas refill and a quick getaway. They thought wrong. Okay. Oh, okay, this is her expedition. Okay. A few water bottles were scattered around the cashier's booth. So we got one. One of the cars had a map inside of it. Sweet. Oh my god. Why did you die so quickly, Dolores? What is this? Hold on. A deck of cards. Dude, we got entertainment and shit. Mary Jane is quite hungry. And she's tired. Okay. Timmy Rose and himself were very worried about him. Okay, so Mary Jane just needs to eat and we're good. Uh, we- no. No, no, no. Seems like a mistake. People die and get hurt and sick when I let someone go out. Is there anything to do in the tiny bunker? Oh, man. This is the longest run in history. Okay. So, very sick, Ted. 
We decided to act out scenes from our favorite movies to amuse ourselves, at least for a moment. For some reason, every time we picked a new scene, we ended up with one from Humphrey Bogart film. I don't know who that is, and I feel bad. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane, is there any water left? Uh... Nope. Don't need a ration. Don't need to send anybody out. Uh, it's the best time or place to make plans for the future, we can't help thinking about what we make it a terrible situation. Is our house still standing, or will we have to move from Forsaken Hole like Toronto? Probably. So the map's up there. Where exactly are we? I don't know this area, but it looks pretty... standard. Day 26. We can make it work even in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard that the best way to get to Europe. Water is what Mary Jane needs most. Okay, so everyone can just shut up, drink your water. And we'll be fine. Not expedition. So we're going to keep track of the time down here. At least remember it's Timmy's birthday today. He's growing so fast. We should get him some the crazy boat with the soup can on his head. Uh, we'll play checkers. Does he even remember how to play checkers? Okay, can we, like, dispose of her body? I'm sure it smells down there. Day 27. We were taking cover in the shelter. We barely had time to grab anything, so the checker set is missing half of its pieces. Seems to play Buddha. Okay. Timmy is no longer crazy! Wait it out, man. Just wait it out. The crazy goes away. When we look closely at our map, we notice someone had written a set of mystery, mysterious directions on the corners. Will it lead to some kind of treasure? It might be worth something to find out. No, hell no. No. No, no, no. I'm not sending Ted out there. You're fucking sick, dude. You're gonna die. Like, quick. I mean, you can take the gun. <sighs> Day 28. One of his straps is broken. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Day 28. Childish drawings on the map are not exactly a good reason to risk our heads in this whole mess of situation. What would be buried out there, if anything at all? Half a dozen bottle caps. Clearly that worth the risk. Okay, no. They're good. No expedition. Today an army broadcast interrupted our, let's just call it breakfast. Uh, what? Anyway, they seemed very eager to evacuate us away from here, but they went over several things that needed to happen before they do it. The first item on the list is up to us. We were given geographic coordinates and need to get there and leave a sign that we're alive. Okay. And I guess Ted will go out since he's the only one that can go do it. Alright, so who died? Oh, did Timmy run away? We could do my Timmy's wounds. They got worse and worse until eventually he got fed up and left. All that remains of him is a note explaining that we are lousy parents and that we will be back when he becomes the warlord of the wasteland. A quick glance in the map gave us all the information we required. We left them a message in a bottle. Okay, it's hungry and thirsty. So you guys can just go ahead and eat since we got two people left. Hear that? It sounds like a herd of animals are stampeding just above our heads across what used to be our beautiful lawn. They are not getting away with that. It might be a perfect opportunity to get some fresh food. Would you go hunting? Fuck! Do I even have bullets? And how are we gonna cook it? If we have me- Whoa, dude! Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, that actually scared the hell out of me. Day 30. A hunting excursion sounds way too risky. What if there are no average animals? Uh, okay. No. Well... I don't know what to do. I got- uh, Am I sending a crazy person now? Fuck no! So right down here is no walk in the park. It won't get easier. We're hopeful this will blow over soon and life will be back to what it used to be or else we might face dangers we never dreamt of. Dude. What am I supposed to do about these crazy- I gotta wait it out, but there's no sane person down here to like... Help. Okay. Being stuck in such a tiny shelter would make anyone a bit apathetic. We need to stay calm and await the rescue. Surely they're coming for us, right? My is pretty fatigued. Yeah, it's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Didn't under a single word today. This is very odd. Really? Who's writing this? The crazy Ted? Maybe someone should find out what's going on with her. Yeah, let's find- let's find out. Let's have the crazy person examine the other crazy person and see what kind of conclusion they come to. Oh, right, she's better. Fatigue, hungry, and thirsty. Okay, we'll give you some food and water. Nothing solves problems better than honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the latter, but talking alone seems to do the trick. <laughs> oh, I love the comedy in this. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane is no longer crazy. Okay, so water, and then food, and water. You're good. Nope, ain't nobody going out today. Very difficult to prepare for that. Fatigue, but I can only stay prepared for what's happened. 
Hopefully Timmy will return soon. Warlord. And then we can just like roam the wastelands free. Look at that beard, dude. It's pretty awesome. Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality that awaits us. Okay. The wasteland remains unknown. Nope. Okay, so rescue is getting disgusting. Yep, we'll fight off the mutant bugs with our bug spray. Ah, uh, jeez. Are you gonna stop being crazy so I can send you out on an expedition? We dodge a bullet this time, that is, if a bullet was huge, hairy, had eight legs, and a glowing head. Hopefully we won't have to deal with them again. Okay, everyone's fine. Blah, blah. We've been smelling something funny in the shelter. We woke up. Sure enough, there was something. Something. Or someone started a fire. It's already spreading. We can't save everything. What?! Son of a bitch! Are we being chased out? Okay, never mind. What just happened? I thought there was a fire. I thought there was a fire. We need our source of information. We went for the radio first, and we were able to grab it before it was engulfed by flames. Fortunately, our other supplies weren't so lucky. We need to evaluate our losses. What? We didn't lose anything else. Did we lose anything else? We received another army transmission this morning, which it would mark the end of our stay in the shelter, but it seems the military has other plans. All survivors in the area were asked to head to the nearby park and chop down as many trees as possible to aid the evacuation. Ah, oh, How did we lose the axe by heating it up and treating Timmy's wounds? Why did we lose the axe for that? That seems odd. If I had known he was going to run off and be crazy, I should just let him die. Are you going to stop being crazy, Ted? <sighs> Day 36. We're not lumberjacks and we're not chopping down that park. Maybe another time. Hungry. Okay, you guys cannot eat for today. Nobody's going out. You maniacs you blew it up. Ah, uh, yeah, we already read that once. Oh boy. Oh fucking god damn it. <sighs> How long does it take for the f a month, dude? There are only so many days a man can survive without food. See, that's what I don't get. There's no, like, warning sign. There's no warning sign. It says he could use food, but there's no warning sign that, hey, if he doesn't get food today, he's probably gonna die. Like, if, I, if that was really me, I'd be able to tell you, look, if I don't eat right now, I feel like I'm going to die. But I guess they just can't communicate that. Okay. <sighs> 37 days. Silent as a grave. Severe career. Ted starved to death, perished. Okay, so the only one left was her. I guess she can't handle it herself. Well, shit. I'm never gonna fucking survive this. Yeah, I know. I know, I perished. Pretty bad. It looks bad out there. I wouldn't go out there anyway. <clears throat> <sighs> well, that sucks. What's this trash can doing here? I feel like this wasn't here before. Anyway! So that was that run. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was really long. This is actually a really long episode. I have a feeling these are going to last a pretty long while. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below if you have any tips, tricks, or whatever you want to tell me about. Also comment it, and I'll be happy to review it and probably apply it in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.